Hello, everybody. Good to be here. Good to see you all. Uh, uh, always an honor to be with Jack Hirschman, and uh, uh, it's wonderful to know that he was representing us just recently in China, and then before that, he was the first uh, poet after the thaw. So this is our, our good friend, our hero, my hero, Jack Hirschman. Thank you, Jack. So um, I used to be a teacher in the South Bronx and neighborhoods like that in New York City. And um, you know, the cops were shooting the kids then and beating the kids then. And they're keeping that up. They're keep, they keep killing the kids. They keep killing the youth. Uh, new names, but an old story. Uh, I worked with, uh, you can say I was, maybe I was an emotionally disturbed teacher of rightfully troubled kids. Anyway, this is a poem about one of their aunts. Thought it was a good story. It's called Official Business. The desk cop at the first precinct says Bobo's Aunt Belle is a barrel of angry bitches in one skinny body. He says, Bell socked a cop last night and obstructed official police business. Bell says, the cop she clocked had no damn business officially grabbing her ass. You all know what a hawk shop is, right? That's when you're desperate and you bring back that which uh, maybe you think has a little bit of value when you get some money. This is called Outside the Hawk Shop. And it's about ownership. It's about what's going on here. It's pretty short. Hawk Shop. Outside the Hawk Shop. Paulie found a gold wedding band in the gutter. He found it in the gutter. It took two cops to pry it out of his hands. It's mine, Paulie protested. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Cops said the tenth part was never his to own. Thank you. Thank you.